That's awesome music, by the way. Smack in the middle of a raging blizzard. Gotta find shelter and get inside. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Hope you didn't let them in. They froze to death. What do I need to do? What do what do I need to do? Oh, there. The figure was up there as well, by the way. We don't get our health back, probably. So let's start eating something. Okay, so the house partially burned down after that. But what happened then? They clearly were drinking to something. So this is when he started smoking. A mug, a pipe. But there was vodka in it. So he's clearly holding the tankard. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. And he's holding something else. Well, what would that be? A knife covered in blood. Guess old Gear got the scars on his shoulders last winter. Drop. So. Was the father holding the knife then? Probably not right. No, okay. Marriage contract. A marriage contract between Iris and Olgird. Prenuptial agreement. We, the undersigned Iris Billowitz and Olgir von Everek, have agreed to seal our love in a marital contract and to bind ourselves to certain covenants. Let this document stand as an oath before the gods and all that we hold holy, that till death do us part, we shall treat one another with mutual respect and give due hearing to each other's requests and opinions. If separation shall come, we shall each retain all property, both movable and immovable, which we brought into the marriage. And additionally, each shall keep any presents given by the other during the duration of the marriage. The income which each receives, each shall spend as he or she sees fit, with all costs related to the maintenance and upkeep of mutual possessions being divided equally between the parties. Signed, Iris and Olgeard. So that's probably what the father was holding. So let's put that in his hands. The father must have been holding the contract. And this Furthermore, is probably where it, it ended. It is that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. That you shall heed her counsel and requests and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. And that's all because of all So now he has his scars. Till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Oh, wow. Father! Father! No! Yeah, I can uh, understand Servants. that end of the relationship. Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. So, Old Geard was not a good man. So now we have ghouls because of the, the corpse, probably. So let's quickly take care of those. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. Okay, and hopefully we find some way to end this. Let's put the sword away. So there's no items here. And that creature just appeared again, and there's... I remember. 
We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. Okay. So, Olgir probably conjured up the caretaker. Animal hair. So that's where the dog probably sits. Claw scratches. There we go. The cat position and the dog position. And then we have a small a bowl. bowl. For soup, maybe. A large, large bowl. bowl. What else do we have? Food Try tray. Do we have another painting right now? We probably don't. Um, he, the caretaker probably came in with the food. Yeah, there we go. And then... There was a large bowl... For the dog. Yeah. And then a small one for the cat. There we go. Actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgeard. I want you out of my sight. Well, this is one sad, tragic story, isn't it? Sprinkled with Olgeard a bit of black Olgeard magic. failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. Poor woman. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Okay, Iris then. Everick's greatest fear. Curator of Nightmares, trophy earned. It's a sad trophy though. Let's go to the parlor and see if we can't finish this. Face Iris von Everex's greatest fear. Okay. Here we go then. I'm here. What's this? My dearest wife. Letters from Old Gear to Iris. Were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart, I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Olgierd. So is the specter Olgierd then? This is creepy. Okay, it's dark again. Yeah, it's all geared all right. Ooh, this is gonna suck. Yep, there he is. And there's that pose again. Here we go. Oh, I can only fight one at a time, apparently. Is that all the one active now as well? So I can use signs, kind of. Oh, 
Oh shit, that's not good. Yep, that's not good. Okay, let's try this again. Because the other ones aren't reacting. I can't you take control of any of them. And if I activate, if I hit any other ones... Okay, so that's one. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna try and defeat one at a time. Because if we defeat, uh, if we hit any any of the other ones, they're gonna start. Oh shit! That's another one down. Let's refill the quench shield. They're not that hard to beat, but have to keep an eye on the his moves. Every three hits, he does that stunning attack. That's another one down. So there's three more left. We have a bit more room to uh, work with now. Oh wow! We're getting awfully close to the other ones. There's another one. The second to last. Oh, this one blocks. How long you gonna make me wait? Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. The Witcher shall soon be buried. He has a lot of powerful attacks, this one. I'm gonna try and hit the back. Oh, 
Okay, now the last one. Wonder what this one can do. Okay. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Is this actually all geared the real all geared we're here uh, talking? Because he's talking about the fact that we won't be able to complete all his tasks. And that we're gonna die. Okay, that was my last swallow potion. Oh shit! I don't want to die now. We're almost there. Looks like we are there. Okay. Couldn't let me finish that for some reason. Hello? Iris? You're not him. No, we're not. Wait, I want to talk. Yes, we do. Not here. Not in this place. Okay, so let's leave then. Is there another painting we need to jump through? Okay, or are we just gonna talk I'm here? I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. You are sadness. We've met before. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. No, we I were kind of peeping. That is all I know. Um, I've come for the rose. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. Did we see I lay that? I for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. Look at that. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. Can we have it? When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Olgird doesn't deserve your concern. He pretends to be happy, but isn't. Olgird's doing all right. Your husband has a powerful enemy, we don't need to burden her with that. Olgird doesn't really deserve your concern now, does he? Shouldn't worry about him at all. He's no longer the man you loved. So his heart remains hardened. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? He lied Not a bit. Much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose. The last I have left of him. 
his last gift. She's going to be difficult about this, isn't she? Or not? Hopefully. And their painted style thingy works best outside, I find. The rose more than a memento, isn't it? Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Yeah, to indeed. Be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he has an answer to that. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I fear there will be cold and darkness until. There is nothing at all. Poor woman. I can't take the rose, or can you give me the rose? I mean, I want to release her from her suffering, so might as well take the rose in hopes that it gives her a bit of relief. That she doesn't cling to the man she once loved. So, yeah, can you give me the rose? I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. Everything is shaking. I shall give you the rose. Thank Our you. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. So those are released Beware as well. of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Okay. Glass can't be broken. The man of glass. So long. Is he talking about Gontaro Dim? I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. Ah, she's still that shaking. No longer matters. Farewell. Goodbye, Iris. Oh, wow. There goes the world. Do we have an exit out of here? Apparently we do. And goodbye, cat and dog. That was amazing. That was really nicely done. The black cat and dog character entry updated. Meet Old Geard's man at the Alchemy Inn. And it's snowing here right now. This is awesome. Whatsoever a man soweth, he will reap. Let's see if we can't get out of here. Because uh, we've had a lot of excitement for a single day. Um, I do want to head back to the Alchemy Inn and meet Olgird's men. Uh, maybe I should do that because he will point us in the, the, into the general direction to where Olgird is located right now. 
uh, and then I'll end the episode after that. So I'll see you guys back at Oxenford. Meet Olgird's man. Where is the man and how does he look? Two points and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Okay. Geralt, over here. Okay, that's gone through a dim. Oi, wait till looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. More treats. Wow. Did he just freeze everybody? That guy is way too powerful. Okay, Gunter, sure. you've got my of attention. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. <laughs> yes, we Indeed, were. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Of course they do. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Okay. Do you actually control time or is this just some trick you freezing everybody around time, you? Or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say time has always fascinated me. So I taught myself how best to use it. Why time of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height and time. What would you have me fall in love with? With? Come now. <laughs> well, he has a point. Who are you really? Who are you really? Gaunter Odin. Also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah. So you'd rather know what it is I do? No, what exactly in you brief, are. I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grab their wishes. But... Yeah, awfully noble of you. It would be downright noble if you didn't always demand something in return. Law of the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes, we do. Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. Okay, that was a clear threat. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, the cat and the I dog know him. You. you acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgierd. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was and he's not his grateful wishes, for that. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. Okay, then. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking. So. Oh God! Holy shit balls! Fuck me! What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? Um, I'm quick, real quick. I'm a Let's witcher. keep it to that. Superhero Someone just got murdered with a spoon in his eye. 
you toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Oh, yeah. Probably the guy with a spoon sticking out of his face. Hold that. Your friend, the medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Shawnee. Thanks. But that will have to wait until oh, next you time. Blood literally dropped dead. He were there, alive, a moment ago. Blind drunk he was. Maybe he fainted. Fainted? He soaked in blood! Which are in the ass. No, and there's a spoon in his face! Oh god, that was horrible. The way he did that, that was just... He didn't feel any remorse about that. Kind of reminded me of how old, old Geared did that. But hey, okay. Wow. I'm uh, a bit rattled, but hey, uh, we're going to end this episode here. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys and for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And next time we're going to pay uh, a visit to Shawnee. So uh, thank you guys again and for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.